Hi guys, welcome to my final review of the Movie Maker from Mini 2 Free 2.0. I've already made a video about that, this tool, this video editing tool and it's more like a technical review this is more like a little bit behind the scenes or a little bit about safety what we can expect or what we have to be aware of and yeah i mean when i tried it at the beginning i was pretty happy with that some person of the developing team has been approaching me and asked me to make a review about that and this is what i have done here yeah this is the video hope you can see a little bit about yeah it is a really simple tool and it is i mean of course a little bit similar to the microsoft movie maker it's probably the reason why they have chosen this name movie maker because we know there was the old microsoft movie maker it is a little bit similar but uh, i mean regarding the features it is it does not even come close it has a few really nice features some automatic things where you can create some fancy videos but when it goes really to the details and the amount of transitions and possibilities where you can where you can edit like sound and video separately and how easy you can do that and yeah basically just the amount of features then it is falling way behind the original microsoft movie maker even if they stopped in 2013 i think with the development and it's actually not official officially available anymore it's not bad you can you can uh, you have basically one video track one title track one audio track and you can split and cut and edit and then you can make some transitions and they are not bad actually but the problem the major problem of this tool is actually for me more the safety i mean before i've decided to make this video i started a little bit communicating with their team and i asked them hey what's the motivation behind that why are you investing so much time and money into this project there must be some kind of return how are you planning to make money on this project and they couldn't answer or i mean they couldn't give me a valid answer and that is my point actually here where i have my biggest problems my biggest concerns and when i made a video today about the virustotal.com which is an online antivirus file checker i just by chance used the installer file of the mini tool movie maker and this is what i got yeah one engine of course out of 72 but still one has found something suspicious yeah it's called eGambit and they found unsafe ai score 99 percent whatever that means unfortunately we cannot dig more into that we can just find some information about that and they say yeah it is a language of coding is russian yeah i mean i cannot tell you anything about that but maybe it it tells you something the whole thing the whole behavior everything uh, for me is super super suspicious I mean when we go to the website when we check the website we can check the website on virus total total as well doesn't look suspicious but if they are planning to inject like virus drawing horse or whatsoever in a later update of this video tool then of course they won't find anything here it's probably more that they will find something here unfortunately i'm not an expert on that i cannot tell you what the problem is but 
yeah maybe it could be something dangerous when we google for that movie maker mini tool yeah they don't have the best reviews not the worst reviews so average three or four stars and the details yeah it's about same as they have found out yeah they say yeah okay it's nice it's free it has very limited uh, features it's easy to use but it has a huge lack of features and yeah also support is really bad and yeah here same on tech radar same thing yeah against limited range of features cannot uh, effects cannot be customized transitions are unimpressive and so on yeah of course free of charge but free of charge nothing is free uh, at some point you will have to pay for that uh, either with your data or that virus or Trojan horse or whatever get injected into an update or whatever I mean it could be just that they have an idea and they sell the whole project to a doubtful other company and they will then do crazy things which always can happen I mean I'm not saying that uh, something will happen I'm just saying that it could happen something when we look at the extended data of source forge then we see that or they say at least it's a canadian company for some strange reason the programming language is russia they say founded 2009 now we have 2020 but still there is just not enough uh, information for me about them and so i don't want to rely on this program as a free video editor the thing but i'm using if i need a really simple free video editing tool for me that's still the microsoft movie maker i think there is nothing which can compete with everything they have here we have the program I uh, hope you can see that. I mean, most of the people probably uh, know the thing and know how many features they have. Uh, they have so many effects, animation, and they have also the things where you can do some at least basic manipulation about sound and video in so uh, sound in video. And yeah, it's it's just easier to handle. It's more stable. It is it has better overview, especially the timeline. I mean, the timeline of the mini tool, Movie Maker mini tool, is the worst which I've ever seen. I think. And here on Microsoft, you can put a, almost everything, and you have a huge zoom in and zoom out range and with the mini tool it's super super limited if you have a video project which is longer than maybe one or two minutes with the mini tool yeah it's almost impossible to work efficiently and with the movie maker you can make videos half an hour or an hour absolutely no problem and it has also these import export uh, possibilities uh, same about as the movie uh, the mini tool movie maker so i highly recommend to use this one and i'll also put the download link i mean i still have it on my dropbox file which is free and virus scanned and everything and uh, I, I will put down the link into the description so you can also download it so here's the version dropbox that's the microsoft movie maker the original version the y setup all zip and i will share uh, the link to this file exactly this file in the description down there so you can download it and of course i highly recommend even if it's not needed but i highly recommend to put it uh, or i mean add it here into the virus total file and you can see how safe it is and if you don't want to do that if you trust me you can see i'll put this file here exactly that's the downloaded file and you can see what virus total is saying about this file there is absolutely nothing suspicious zero out of 69 um, 
virus can have found something you can go to details you see creation time yeah that was probably the last date update from microsoft and you can see that uh, yeah it's a product from microsoft windows essential microsoft corporation signed countersigned everything you can see nothing changed nothing done no virus injected no nothing that means you can be absolutely safe and still people are commenting on that and saying yeah microsoft safe no problem with that so yeah i can highly recommend using this one as an alternate till we get something else hopefully we will get a new version at some point from microsoft but i think they have decided to go another way and just cash out with some affiliate links uh, with some from third party manufacturers who are making some cheap copies of microsoft movie maker there are other ones already on microsoft store and i highly recommend not to use that uh, i got just uh, feedback from somebody else and they said yeah no it's not worth the money uh, he paid for a pro subscription and he says no it's not good so i think the best option is still to go with this version the original version from microsoft uh, themselves so yeah that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments or other opinions or better solutions as an alternate to microsoft movie maker just write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time